Hey guys, Hidden Xperia here, and welcome to the loadout. Today, we're going to be looking at the UNSC's go to precision weapon and competitive Halo's baby, the battle rifle. The first series of battle rifle is the BR 55 series. It contains all battle rifles up until the model in Halo 4 and 5. All rifles in this series have long barrels and a bullpup so their receiver and magwell are located behind the trigger, allowing for a longer barrel length with the same size gun. They also all have a telescopic scope on the top rail. The first battle rifle in the BR-55 series is the XBR-55. It's the first known prototype for the battle rifle and was present in the Halo novel, The Cold Protocol. It fires 9.5 by 40mm rounds, which are stored in a 60 round magazine as its bullpup, the magazine is loaded behind the trigger. It was issued to Sergeant Johnson and Nolan Byrne, as well as the marksmen in their militia squad, Critchley and Jenkins, during the Harvest event in 2525. Interestingly, it was the first weapon used against the Covenant, and also caused the first alien casualty during the Human Covenant War. The second battle rifle in the BR-55 series is the BR-55 battle rifle, which is used by the UNSC Defence Force Infantry. It's also the BR present in Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary. It fires the 9.5 by 40mm M634 experimental high-powered semi-armour piercing rounds, which are loaded in a 36 round magazine behind the trigger. It has an effective range of up to 900 metres. The BR-55 is also capable of semi-automatic and burst firing modes by changing the selector switch. Interestingly, when the BR-55 was first shown in the Halo 2 E3 2003 demo, it was shown only firing in semi-automatic mode, with no burst fire. In the E3 2004 Halo 2 multiplayer alpha demo, it was also shown firing in burst mode normally and semi-automatic fire when scoped in. BR-55 prototypes existed as early as 2524 and were later used in 2525 during the fall of harvest. The standardised version of the weapon was in service by 2531. This version of the weapon was also able to fulfil the role of a DMR, which caused the M392 DMR to be phased out in favour of the BR-55. In multiplayer, the BR-55 kills a fully shielded Spartan or Elite in four bursts, which is known as foreshotting. In Halo 2 there are also a variety of button glitches that are useful with the BR, such as the famous BXR and double shotting. The BXR allows for an instant takedown of a full shielded enemy by abruptly ending a melee animation, allowing for an instant burst to be fired, effectively one-shotting an enemy. The double shot allows for two bursts, or six rounds, to be fired at once. This allows you to melt an enemy's shields and kill them twice as fast. At long range, the BR-55 suffers from poor shot grouping, which leads to it becoming inaccurate. The best way to stop this is to limit strafing while shooting at long distances, The third battle rifle in the BR-55 series is the BR-55HB, which is used by the UNSC Defence Force Infantry. It's also the BR present in Halo Landfall, Halo 3 and kind of in Halo 3 ODST. When compared to the BR-55 in Halo 2, the BR-55HB has a new reloading animation, decreased aim assist, slightly lower recoil and fire rate, different firing sound, decreased accuracy, greater spread and no hit scan so rounds have to be led on moving targets. It fires the same rounds as the BR-55, which are loaded in a 36 round magazine, and also has the same effective range of 900 meters. The main difference from the BR-55 is that it has a heavier barrel, allowing for greater accuracy. However, even with the added accuracy, the BR-55 HP performs almost identically to its predecessor. The rifle is a select fire weapon, so it can be fired in semi-automatic, three round burst, and fully automatic, but is most commonly used in 3 round burst. Even though it fires very powerful rounds, it does suffer from very little recoil, even in full auto. In 2548, the BR-55 HB entered service alongside the standard BR-55. For decades, the BR-55 had steadily gained favour over the long-serving M392 DMR, but the introduction of the BR-55 HB increased the BR-55's popularity, prompting all branches of the UNSC Defence Force, aside from the Army, to replace the DMR with the BR-55. In multiplayer, 
It can take out a fully shielded Spartan or Elite in 4 shots, exactly the same as the BR-55 in Halo 2. However, all button glitches, including the BXR, were removed in Halo 3. With the ability to lead shots, the BR-55 HB can be very dangerous in a skilled player's hands, giving them the ability to take out enemies from a very large distance. However, the grouping of the rounds at long distance becomes very poor, especially when moving whilst firing. In close quarters, the BR-55 HB is clearly outclassed by the Covenant Carbine due to its ability to land more headshots in a shorter time. Each round fired from the rifle also acts as a tracer, giving away the shooter's position. Although unusable in Halo 3 ODST, the BR-55 HB does make a small cameo during the cutscene at the end of the mission NMPD HQ, where the brute shoot and attacks the squad on the rooftops. You can quite easily see a BR fly across the scene. The BR-85 is the second series of battle rifle. It features the battle rifle from both Halo 4 and 5, which has a long barrel and is bullpup, so its receiver and magwell are behind the trigger. Both iterations of the battle rifle have an optic on their top rail. The only battle rifle currently in the BR-85 series is the BR-85HB. It's manufactured by Misria Armoury and is used by the UNSC and is also the BR present in Halo 4 and 5. It fires the same rounds as all BR-55 series rifles, the 9.5x40mm rounds, which are loaded into the rifle in a 36 round box magazine. The rifle has an effective range slightly greater than the BR-55 series rifles, at 950 meters. The HB in the name indicates that the rifle has a heavy barrel to increase accuracy. It's optimised for firing in 3 round bursts, but is also capable of firing in semi-automatic and fully automatic. The BR-85 HB also features a new lightweight frame and rail mounts. In Halo 4, it features a 2x telescopic scope on the top rail, just like its predecessors. However, in Halo 5, this is swapped out for a more compact holographic sight. When compared to the BR-55 HB in Halo 3, the BR-85 HB features hitscan properties again, just like in Halo 2. A larger reticle, higher bullet magnetism at close range and less at long range, a square scope instead of a round one, and Misria Armoury's logo printed on both sides of the stock. The BR-85 was initially fielded late into the Human Covenant War, and was not widely adopted until post-conflict due to manufacturing concerns and logistical issues with its ammunition. The BR-85 HB excels at medium range combat. Although good in both close and long range combat, it is outclassed by the MA-5D Assault Rifle and M395 DMR. As in all other games, the BR-85 HB is a 4 shot kill. 3 shots to the body, 1 to the head. The rifle has a faster kill time than both the DMR and unscoped light rifle, and is also superior to them in close quarters combat so it's roughly on par with the Covenant Carbine. In Halo 4, the BR-85HB can kill a Spartan with two bursts and a melee, which is known as the two-shot melee. However, without proper control, the vertical recoil can be detrimental and can lead to a player easily losing a fight. The mid-magazine reload time is also very slow, leading to players being caught out in the middle of a reload quite easily. In Halo 5 Guardians, the BR-85HB remains as a four-shot kill. Again, 3 to the body and 1 to the head. There are also some significant changes, these being the zoom functioning being replaced with the smart scope, the removal of the ACOG style scope and addition of the open topped holographic sight, increased accuracy and a much higher cyclic rate of fire. In Halo 5, weapons have different variants that change their characteristics and visual appearance in Warzone and only their visual appearance in Arena. So far, the only known BR-85 HB variant is the Sentinel Battle Rifle. It features a laser target and comes with the Bloodthirst BR Weapon Skin. You can earn this in-game through the new Rec Pack system, or get it out of the box by pre-ordering Halo 5 from either GameStop or Game in the UK. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I also want to thank you guys for getting me to 2,000 subscribers. That's 2,000 people that have enjoyed my content and subscribed to me, which is amazing. That means the world to me, and we're currently actually sitting at 2,200, roughly, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much. The video is going to keep coming out. I've got some pretty awesome news coming in the next couple of days, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.